Okay, so once you have your uh, mocap from Wonder Studio downloaded as an FBX, and you want to add it to your rig, first you reference your character. Always reference. Don't just open it. Reference it. So this is our, our final rig. And then you're going to go to this Gumroad and download this script, the animation retargeting tool for Maya. Um, kick him some extra bucks if you have some lying around because it's a very cool script. Once you download that script, you're going to unzip it to your Maya scripts directory, wherever you have advanced skeleton. And then you're going to open up the script editor right here and create a new Python shelf. And you're going to grab this script, Python script, and drag it into that shelf. Select all of the script and go to Command Execute. And that'll run the script. You can also middle drag this onto your shelf to have a button if you use it a lot. Um, now we're going to import the mocap that you downloaded from Wonder Studio. And we're going to change our frame rate to 30 and our uh, set our timeline to the length of the mocap. And then you're going to find the, the last frame of the mocap that has the character in a T pose. And you're going to, with um, auto keyframe toggled on, you're going to zero out the X rotation so that the, if I go to shading X-ray joints, you can see that the skeleton is now lined up with my rig. And if I grab all of that, I'm just hitting control one to isolate so you can see that it's lining up. Um, that's also up here, or sorry, it's uh, right here. If you just wanna isolate selection. Okay, so now we're gonna connect our rig to the mocap. Um, so first I'm going to click on these little uh, helpers here and I'm gonna switch this to, I'm just selecting this and I'm middle mouse clicking and dragging to set it to 10, which is full IK. And you'll see this little box pop up. So I'll do that to the other one. So now we have IK on um, all the limbs. You want to make sure you have IK on all the limbs. Just hiding this camera. And then you're going to go through and you're going to connect the IK to the mocap limb. And so you want to first select the the right foot and then the IK of the right foot and say create IK connection. Um, left foot and then the left foot of the rig, create IK connection. Uh, for the hip, um, I'm going to select the hip and then the uh, shift click and select the hip of my character. Now this, I'm not creating an IK connection. Um, and you can also uh, toggle these off. Like if you don't want to move the position, like if your your skeleton is slightly offset, in our case, it's perfectly aligned, but if your skeleton is slightly offset or there's a difference in scale, you can turn this off and it won't move your rig. It'll just do an offset, which is kind of nice. So now I want to say, create connection between the hips, uh, the mocap hips and the rig hips. For the right hand, I shift click this right hand and say, this is again an IK 
connection. Um, left hand IK connection for the neck. Uh, I selected the neck on the mocap rig and I'm shift clicking this neck. And for this, um, saying create connection. And then for the head, um, selecting the head and the head on the rig, saying create connection. And then the last things are these pole vectors. So you want to uh, line up the pole vector with the leg. And here, you don't want rotation. Um, so I'm selecting the leg of the mocap and shift selecting the pole vector and saying create connection. And now I'm grabbing that pole vector and moving it back out. So I'm doing the left leg now, shift clicking the pole vector with rotation off, create connection. Move it back out. Arm for the pull vector of the elbow. Create connection. And then move it back out. Left arm, shift click, create connection. Back out. Now it's all connected. And the other thing that we have is we can close this. We have the ability to correct, for example, these legs are um, a little stiff, the knees not bent nicely. So we can go to the channel box and create an animation layer. And we can add this to the animation layer, add selected object. And now at the first frame, um, I can set a key for that and I can offset it up so that I get a bend in the knee. And now over the whole animation, we'll have a nice bend in the knee. Um, so I can do that with the other foot too. Add selected object, set a key. Get a bend, and now I have nice bends in my knees. So you can also use that to correct the hands. So you have full functionality in the IK of the hands. So you can correct those in a layer. You can create another layer for the hands. If for some reason you want to blend out of that, so I have a key here, and I can say I want to set a key there. So you hit this right here, which is um, zeroing the key out. I'm sorry, I can hit a, I'm hitting S to set a key there. Now, if I want to blend out like by frame 50, I can zero that here and it'll go back to the original, but it'll blend over um, from frame 30 to frame 50 back to the original. And since it's a layer, you can turn it on and off. You don't have to use it and it's non-destructive. So that's super cool um to use and honestly i think i would just keep it like this i don't think i would really bake it down but if you want to you can bake it to the rig but i feel like it's a little more versatile right here to keep it just linked that way and that's it